my girl. Can't take my eye off you. Can't take my eye off you. Welcome back to another video. Actually, happy 4th of July. I'm recording this on 4th of July. You guys have probably seen this on the 5th. You probably saw me load up the truck, put some stuff back here because I kind of want to talk about what it's like having a truck. That'll work for right now. I really wanted to use the bed extender, but I had this little piece over here stuck. I couldn't get this piece off that it goes into. So we're just going to have it stick out like that. That works. Um, It's July, it's 4th of July. So I've had a truck for about more than a month i probably had it for like it's definitely been over a month already and i've been doing all types of things with the truck like everyone told me once you get a truck the ac going it's, it's hot today um everyone told me once you get a truck you're it's it's hard to not have one and living in new mexico like it's just so convenient having a truck i recently dropped a video installing the one up uh, hitch on the truck and that thing has been so convenient i just drop down the legs put the bike in and i go or if i need to get into bed I drop the hitch all the way down lower, open the bed and go. So during the whole month of owning the truck, um, I've used the bed to sell a bunch of stuff. So I sold a bunch of stuff on Facebook Marketplace. That's why you guys probably saw that we, the last video actually I dropped, we redesigned our office and most of the stuff that used to be in there, I sold. So um, I sold my gaming chair. This truck is just coming in handy. We're selling item number two. This is actually my uh, gaming chair and we're gonna show you what I replace this with, but I did sell this. This is how the hitch look when it's all the way down and you wanna access the bed. So I don't think I take the hitch off and I can still drop the bed down, which is pretty cool. You see pre plenty of clearance down there. This thing is coming in handy. But yeah, I sold this guy on Facebook Marketplace. So lucky you guys once I get this guy. I sold um, our dining set that we had in the living room. We have a new dining set now. Um, I had these uh, like shoe boxes that are like empty, like, like the little case of the shoe box sit in. Next, I'm actually gonna sell my racing wheel and my whole racing setup because I ordered a new desk to go where my gaming PC is now. Cause it's kind of like in the corner right now, but that corner is gonna, we're gonna have another desk and it's gonna be uh, like a adjustable, like electronic standing desk. I never had one before, so I'm excited about that. So when I bought the truck, it came with uh, some, I guess like some attachments for the bed where you can tie things down. Now I do have one strap, and it's not really a strap. It's like a, like two hooks in the end, and a you know like a, a kind of like a heavy duty rope thing, Majiggy. I do need to get some um, like official like straps where you can like you know you kind of pull it and it gets tighter. I need some of those. Um, I think I'm gonna get a cargo net for the bed too, and just in like a like a blanket I could use if I'm you know kind of I guess moving something that's more delicate or whatever. Because in the video where I sold my where's this dude doing? In the video, I sold my gaming seat. I had to use an old sheet that we don't use anymore and I wrapped it around and put it in the bed. But so far though, I just love being able to just have a bed. I don't gotta like worry. You know, if I gotta pick something up, like something pretty heavy, I don't gotta worry because I have a bed. You know, I don't have to put anything in our Acura because that red interior is really nice. Don't wanna mess up anything in there. And my Civic's so small. So this thing just come in handy. And I got ice cold AC because the AC in my Civic is like really weak. And this week, actually, for 4th of July week, it's 100 degrees. Like, it's, it's 100 degrees every day. That's the high, is 100 degrees every day, which is insane. Last year, I had Onyx, so I had the wagon. So I was still, you know, good for the summertime. But the year before that, when I just had the Civic, I used to be cooking in my car. Like, I actually drove the Civic this weekend that just passed. And yeah, I was, because, like, she's my week weekend car now. Like, I drive her Saturday, Sunday and it, it could get hot and I'll just be cooking and I think so I'm glad I have this thing. RDX was one of the best uh, choices we made for a daily for Shelly, but this is the best choice I've ever made for myself as a daily. Um, it's my first Nissan, I've never owned a Nissan before. I never owned a truck before and their Pro 4X is just perfect. I'm actually excited for like bad weather, like snow and rain, all types of stuff like that. Cause I have the truck now, it doesn't really matter. I used to have to drive the Civic and I drove the Civic in every weather and that's how good Civics are. Cause the SI, I drove that thing in snow, rain, everything and I've been fine. One thing I have to get used to driving a truck is compared to the RDX, you sit up higher, especially from the Civic. I'm like, I'm just way up higher and it feel good to just have this scene position where you feel like you can see everything. You can see over the hood, you know, like, I feel like even just looking around in the cabin, the visibility in this thing is just way better than, you know, my small little coupe. Like if you just look, you can see just, just 
all the visibility like you can see everything one thing about new mexico you cannot keep your your car clean out here but that's what it's like living in the desert but yeah look at that thing this thing is beautiful i love the red too it's not like red red and it's not burgundy it's kind of like a little red orangey but it it don't show dirt as much it just looks good and especially with the hitch it looks look at this thing this thing is fire oh, it's windy as heck out here though i was actually thinking about one of these before i got the frontier because i wanted like a small pickup truck but i feel like this is too car like like this one's a lariat so this one's actually pretty loaded i like the brown interior it's pretty cool i don't know about that it's like blue almost but i kind of drove this thing and it feels like you're driving a car a car with a bed which is kind of what I'm looking for, you know, but I do like that the Frontier is more trucky. You know, this thing just, I don't know, it's not, you're not up high as much. Um, it's newer. It got the EcoBoost engine in it. It's pretty cool, pretty quick, but I don't know. You don't get that truck vibe. And it just has the fender flares on there, but yeah, the ground clearance is nothing too crazy. And then it's got the bed on there as well. We just took this into, so no bed liner, but at least got this little carpet piece, which is pretty cool. Some storage. Well, yeah, the bed's pretty small, but kind of glad I didn't go with this though. Like I don't know, this is not me. It's cool though, cause not a lot of trucks in this segment that you can actually do truck things with, you know. But pretty interesting. But it is available for sale, so if you're in New Mexico, hit me up. We just took it in though. That's pretty cool. And this is the size of the Ridge Line. There's also, I mean, this would have been my number one choice if it was the size of the Frontier. I just feel like the Ridge Lines are just too big. The, um, whatchamacallit, the Ranger is just too big. I hate the seating position of the Tacomas. So, Tacoma's a good size, but I just, I don't know, interior is way too small in Tacoma. Definitely can't do that. All right, we made it to a spot I usually go to recycle things. So you got all these cans, throw them in there. But uh, the last time I made a video of how I went to the dump, it was actually in there. Loosen this thing up. This lady's offering me to help. Super nice. But I got it. She's got that thing thrown away. Jump up out of here. What y'all think? I should run it with his tracks? I might smoke him, right? I go in front of that tracks would destroy me. The person that sold uh, the set to lives in the hood. I need to get some gas. Oh man, you probably can't even hear me. But this is the first time I'm gassing up Amber, San Mateo, and freaking Catherine. Put $63 in this thing. So it took me a whole month to use the tank. It's not bad. Can you guys take a guess where we at? This is the first time we're going through a Starbucks drive through in Amber. So much we are at is like way across town from where we're at so you can see everything looks different like look, look how old school this menu look look at that can you compare that to the starbucks near us with the cameras and everything i know it's totally different how you doing i have a mobile order for michelle michelle give me one sec to check them out fast okay all right we have that going forward all right thank you all right thank you this is probably the biggest starbucks sign in the world <laughs> look at that thing making use of the truck again we got this thing sold and ready to go. I've been selling things all week and this truck has been coming in handy, dropping and delivering everything off. I do need to get some tie down straps though. The one that came with the truck is okay, but I could get something a lot nicer because that looks mad ghetto. The Amber here needs a bath. She is filthy. So we're gonna go get that done. Look at that. I haven't washed this since I got it. Amber is nice and clean. Look at that. We went from ash to classy. Do I clean that windshield though, but yeah, Amber looking good right now. All right, so, oh, okay. So my block is, is, is trash. Like, hey, look at the truck. My block is trash. No one is lighting fireworks, but the surrounding neighborhood, they're just bugging out. Okay. Shelly don't like the smell of like the, I guess like the fireworks. Look at that. The 
the other truck. I mean, I love this thing. It's such a good pickup. But yeah, my blocks on every 4th of July, no one does nothing. They're, they're so bored. But... Yeah, the neighborhood's looking kind of crazy. One thing I can say, you guys probably can't see me, but one thing I can say is it is a beautiful night. Like, it's like, I think it's like 80 degrees or something like that. Oh, look at that, behind me. Oh yeah, they're going, they're going ham over there. Definitely a competition going on. Oh, they're going crazy. We're gonna definitely have to spend a, well, I'm gonna have to record a 4th of July back in New York. Cause in New York, we used to go crazy with the fireworks. Like my block will just go nuts, but like I said, I am getting older and this don't really excite me as much, but it's still cool to see though. You know, you can smell the, the fireworks in the air and just it's good vibes, but it's cool to spend the 4th of July just enjoying life, you know. If we still live here and we have kids, I'm gonna be that dad that has mad fireworks and I'll probably go crazy right here just, just you know, just show off for the kiddos. Like definitely I'll be that dad, but I'm in everything here. Hope you guys have a good 4th of July. Thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you guys for tuning into the vlog. Watch the whole thing. Talk about my truck. And I'm going to catch you guys in more videos.